It's Vern again from VFC Archery. Today I'm going to uh, demonstrate um, a tool that you would need to make if you're going to be making a horn bow. Um, it's called a Tensic. There's different types of uh, designs. They're hard to find. You can't buy it. You're going to have to make it. And the designs that I've looked at, about three or four, um, this I find is the best design that I've seen. I uh, didn't invent it, it's just kind of my version of what I've seen. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of describe it first and then how it's used. So it's about a foot long and there's a hole at the base. Use a quarter inch nylon rope, wraps around, goes through this hole, comes out, ties onto the bow, and then this shape and this distance pretty much has to be the distance of I'll grab Turkish hornbow here that I've got in the process it has to be basically enough to I get a little bit of a view there to fit the diameter right there so that you can see as it wraps around with the cord it basically fits the width of the sow on the hornbow. So what this is used for is you tie off the end on the bow and you use it to tighten the horn to the back of the wood once you've got hide glue or fish glue and it wraps around putting about 200 pounds per square inch um, on the actual wood and horn and will we'll crunch it together so that it can dry in that way. So without a tool like this, you could try to do it by hand, but you'll never get the kind of pressure that you can get with an ancient tool like this that works very much like a wrench. And at first I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work, but it worked like a charm actually very, very tight. And uh, the only thing I would suggest is, and we'll show that in another video, is as you're putting the rope on, you always have to have control of the rope coming through the end here. It always has to be somewhat tight so that as you're going around, the rope just doesn't freely flay at the side, um, but that it's tight all the way around as you're going around. So it's called a Tensic. Um, this is my version. I like it fairly short. If it's longer than this, and I do have one that's longer, your arms just aren't, mine aren't anyway, long enough to get all the way around um, at the same time. It's just a, a, a larger motion clockward or counter whichever way you do it um, and so I find that a small tool like this works like a charm you can put a lot of pressure on as you're turning it just like a wrench so once again it's Vern from VFC Archery and thanks for watching